Hello, Kevin. Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's going pretty good, man. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is Kevin Focht. He is Radio Popper's next door neighbor. You have a successful studio in Portland, Oregon. You've been a photographer for a long time, and you're awesome. Oh, awesome. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Um, I just think it's funny that we're doing a Skype interview because we're literally like right across the river from each other. So maybe we could just use the, you know, cams and talking to cams. That's actually a good idea. If I open my window, I probably could hear you. But. <laughs> it's not that close. So um, anyway, doing good, doing good. Uh, you've had the Nanos for a while now. You had beta units and you've been yep. testing them for a while. You, you say that you really like them. Uh, what I wanted to do today was just really briefly ask you maybe what your top two favorite things are about the Radio Popper Nano. Okay. Um, well, the first thing is the hot shoe on top. For me, this is just like it's such a time saver. I literally can go out and set them up in the street, like three strobes, slip them on, and they're ready to go. Where in the past, you know, you had to hook wires up and stuff, and sometimes the wires wouldn't connect or whatever, and you get one unit that you got to go back to and mess around with. Well, with a hot shoe... You slip it on, and boom, it's there. You're ready to go. Um, then the other thing is probably just how easy they are to um, change things on, the little uh, buttons on the side. Instead of dip switches, it's like, oh, I want to go to channel two, boom, go to the next one, boom, and you can change them all really fast. So I've showed some photo photographer friends of mine, they're like, wow, that's like easy. I just, I like simple. I have too many complicated things in my life, and by having these things really simple to use for me, because I have like a really small brain, um, <laughs> it, it just makes my life easier. And then also one thing, um, I haven't really talked to you about, I like to be able to bring them in and I can use them in the studio too, the same exact setup. Mm -hmm. You know, I can just bring it in and use it with my studio strobes yeah. and they plug right in and everything, you know, I don't have to have separate things for each thing I'm doing, I guess is what I'm saying. So I guess that's three things. That's not two things. Yeah, that's three things. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the price? They're $69. Oh, that's, uh, that's perfect. I mean, just... The price itself is a selling point, I think. Because I know the technology, because I know how hard you guys work, the technology that goes in this stuff, oh. and for you to be able to bring it to the market at a price that you know people can afford, um, I think it's amazing. And it's a system you can grow with, too. I mean, when you start out, you're probably going to have maybe two flashes or even one, mm -hmm. and being able to just buy the two units and then just keep adding as you add more flashes. Um, you know, when you think of like a... The top line flashes now are six hundred bucks. I don't think sixty nine dollars is a lot to ask to be able to fire that thing remotely. So that's my feeling. Cool. Well, hey Kevin, thanks for taking just a couple minutes to chat with me today. Uh, for those of you who want more information, he has a pretty sweet uh, site that has a lot of great information for photographers called thecreativeorange.com, um, or you can check out at kevinfoch.com. Hey, thanks yep. man for chatting with me. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. Okay. Cool. Take care. Thanks, man.